Hello, uh, this this is I bet you can't tell what it is. It's a dog. In fact, it's a pug. I fancied doing one. They kind of look, they're so weird, aren't they? They look odd, I think. They, I mean, obviously, they look very different to uh, a traditional dog shape because they've got an entirely flat face. So all the snout, the, the, the pointy smelling part of the dog has been bred away until it's it's got no nose. But it has got a nose, obviously, a little nose there. And, it, and its eyes sort of come forwards uh, and don't have, like, the same eye sockets that you kind of expect but I enjoyed doing all the little crenulations and folds on it I really like picking out his little his little white furry hairs his whiskers on his chin and things like that and it, and it's quite nice doing animals with black fur sometimes because they, they rarely look entirely black when you're colouring them in this one uh, did have black fur but it had a quite a strong light on it so I thought that was quite an interesting thing to do to show the, the reflections on the fur Anyway, it was good fun, I saw, actually. And I mean, I guess the more of them I do, the better I'll get them. I'm going to do a few dogs, I think, for a bit. It'll be a nice project. And there's so many varieties of them as well, which makes it, like, really, really varied. And I can't really get bored, because I, I just do... Well, I'll do an orange dog next, or or I'll, I'll, I'll do a, a massive, great, big wolf type. You know, it'll be fun, I think. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea, anyway. Well, thanks for watching, and um, bye.